we just saw like this huge like thing start moving over top of our heads, and it was a plane um, like going over top of our head because I went to Hoffman Boston, which is um, pretty close to to the Pentagon. So we all saw the plane go directly over our heads because we were outside, and um, then um, we, were, we were all like wondering what happened. And then it it um, hit the Pentagon and just like huge explosion, like smoke everywhere. So I got to, to see the actual plane go over my head um, before it hit the Pentagon. I live about two minutes away from the Pentagon and the plane that crashed into the Pentagon flew directly over my house. Um, I wasn't home at the time, but my mom was and um, our entire house shook, some of our windows broke. And a few minutes after the plane hit the Pentagon, our entire neighborhood was evacuated. Uh, men with Humvees and bazookas came down the street, knocked on everyone's door, and basically told them to get as far away from D.C. as possible in case a nuclear bomb was deployed. Um, and so my mom came and picked me up from school, and we literally just drove until we were 50 miles away and then found a place to stay in the country. My most vivid memory was coming home. I remember at school there was kind of like a chaos going on and I had to go up to my brother's room. He's two years older than I am and we, I had to just be with him. I couldn't leave his side and we were just all sitting together until our parents could come fix us up. And then once I got home, I still didn't know what was going on and it wasn't until my dad told me, sat us down and told me that I had found out. I remember, I remember that day because I, was, I, w I taught in 820 and so it was just about the time of the attacks and I went out into the hallway to chase down somebody who of course was late for my class and was told by another teacher to turn on my TV because an airplane had just hit one of the Twin Towers. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. It was a gorgeous day. I came out of my office, I walked the parent to the main office and I looked up and the television was on and the first twin tower had been hit. And then we heard the, uh, that the uh, Pentagon had just been crashed into as well and there were plenty of families at the Pentagon. Um, and so the t there, were, there were TVs that were on through that time period. I heard this really loud noise all of a sudden and I thought it was a trash truck at the time. And I remember thinking that it was so strange, that it was so loud, because I'd never heard one that loud before. But then I realized later that it was the plane crashing into the Pentagon. I think living through the attacks, you have a much different perspective. I know just within my family, I have a lot of younger cousins that were born after the attacks, and talking to them, they have a completely different perspective on everything that happened. I was only 10 days old. I grew up hearing about the attacks with old newspapers, that my grandpa, he likes to collect newspapers with stories and whenever I go over to his house he shows me some new ones and he always showed me ones about 9-11 and what the attacks did to people and stuff. I was at a daycare center when I, um, just crawling around. My parents came to pick me up and I didn't really know what was wrong because I was a baby. Until like first grade, I was like, what happened? because people were just talking about 9-11. Like, in September, I was like, what's 9-11? I think that the people who are actually alive during the, alive and able to remember when the attacks happened, I think our fear is a little more real as opposed to, I don't know, I guess being conditioned by what everyone else has experienced. And then in first grade, I started like, well, somewhere around there, I started finding out what it actually was. There's like a line of people who remember that day really well and really traumatized that day. And after that line is where it's going to be a huge difference. I think it's less people who were born after 2001 or before 2001. It's more like once you could remember and once you couldn't remember. Um, I started really understanding it, that it happened and that people were capable of this in third grade. We won't know until the, peop the people who were born after are old enough to like, realize the significance of what happened. Yeah, I think, that, um, I think that it's even for those people who were born after it happened and who don't really remember it, uh, I think the effects are, 
uh, are really great. They're going to be uh, more than generation lasting. There's definitely the difference between you know us remembering even though we were so young you know we only remember because it was such a monumental event while you know the people who were born you know they can feel the weight of the event just because they you know they know there's still that footage but you know they can't feel it in the sense that they know what they were doing that day which i think a lot of us you know who remembered it's something we have in common it's something that we kind of share I think anyone within this area uh, felt attacked a lot. And I believe that the generations that follow can read about it, and it can be an interesting story, and it can explain a lot of the events that have happened since then, whether it's the wars and everything. Uh, but I don't think they'll ever feel it the way our generation did, or those who lived through it.